This video will demonstrate how to organize your digital photos and send them to us. We're going to need a couple of windows. The first, my computer, and the second, your documents or where your photos are located. Now, if your photos are not located in my documents, obviously select where they are. I'm going to navigate to where I have some photos that I'd like to put together into a video montage and I'm going to open a second window for my computer. Now the reason for the two windows is these are your original photos and you're going to want to leave these alone. We're going to want to create a new folder on your hard drive to move a copy of the photos over and organize them. Let's get started, okay? First, we'll need to create a folder on our hard drive where we can put these photos. Now you may not have as many hard drives as I do, but find one and let's create a new folder. Name it Video Project and we're going to select it. Now if your video project will include more than one section, create additional folders inside here, inside Video Project to, to indicate the various parts, part one, part two, part three. If your video montage has only one section and all the photos will be there, then you can move them all into this one area, which is what we will be doing today. Now for the hardest part. You have to pick and choose the photos that you want to include in your montage. While you might be very good at naming your photos, it's frequently easier to review them so that you know which ones you want. Now looking through my photo list, I'm going to pick and choose the photos that I want to include in this montage. To do this, I'm going to click, drag, and drop. That will place a copy in my video project folder. Now if your video project folder and your photos are on the same drive, you'll need to do it a little bit differently. You'll need to click, right click, drag, release, and copy. Now I'm going to take a moment to move the photos into this area that I want to include. Okay, I've copied 14 photos into my video project file. Now it's important for you to let us know what order you want the photos to appear in. And if you're using some real photos where you've marked on the back that this will be the first photo, the second photo, you'll want to name the digital photos to correspond to that. In other words, if you send us three photos, live photos, and they're numbered one, two, and three, and you want this one to be the fourth photo, then you need to name this four so that we know it's the fourth one in the montage. Now, once again, to help us, I'm going to place it in thumbnail, thumbnails so that I kind of have an overview and you can reorganize them. Just kind of play around until you get them in the order that you want. And then renumber them accordingly. Okay, so I want this one first. So I'm going to click it once to select the photo. Click it again to rename it and type the number that this photo will be. It'll, this will be our fifth photo in the montage. The first four are physical photos that you're sending in. Next will be six, and so on. Give me a moment, let me go renumber these. Okay, I've got them all renumbered. And to help, help you be able to see what I've done here, oop, I missed one. I've numbered them. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Now you see the gap. 15, 16, 17, and 18 are going to be real photos that you send in, and 1 through 4 in this example. Now obviously you're going to number them according to what you have real photos for and digital photos for, but you get the idea. Now if you're sending 100% of your photos in in a digital form, Obviously, this would be 1 through 20 or whatever. 
Uh, so once your once your photos are all numbered to let us know what order they go in, it's time to package them up and send them to us. Since photos tend to be quite large, we're going to ask that you compress the fold uh, the photos into a zipped format. Now to do that, I'm going to click on the first photo. I'm going to move down to the last photo, hold down my shift key, and then click once again. Now all of all 14 objects have been selected. Using WinZip or WinRAR or PowerDesk, you want to compress all of these files into one file, the smallest it can be. I use PowerDesk. You can you can do the same thing with 7-Zip or Win WinZip, whatever you have on your computer. If you haven't installed anything, there is an option under Send to compressed zipped folder. It will simply take the first file name and name it that. You can always rename it later. Um, I'm going to use PowerDesk because that's been installed on my machine and I'm going to ask it to zip. I'm going to give it a name. Now please note that when you're transferring these files to us there should be no spaces in the file name. So all I did was take this out. I'm going to ask you to do one extra thing. Put your name and the name of the project. So this is going to be my grandkids. This way we can keep them straight when, when you send them to us. So once again, name it your name, your project name. There should be no spaces in the file name and no special characters other than numbers, letters, a dash, or an underscore. I'm going to say OK, and it's going to zip up my files. Now you'll notice I have one file called Sine Nailer, my grandkids, and it's 8 meg large. Now it's time to send us that file. You do have a couple of options. If your email client or ISP, Internet Service Provider, will allow it, you can email this to us. Simply right-click choose send to and this time choose mail recipient this will open your default email client and attach the zip file to the email simply put our email address in here add any additional notes you want here and click send now if you don't have a built-in email client like this you can also use webmail Let me show you that. Okay, I've opened my Yahoo webmail account and I'm going to compose a new email message. Put our, put our email address here and the subject, please include your name and the name of the video project. Now to attach a file, we're going to click the attach button and then we're going to go find it on our desktop. So I know it's on my computer, on G, in the video project, there's the zip file. I'm going to say open, and after a moment, it will scan and attach the file for me right here. Okay, I paused the video while it uh, scanned and uploaded. I didn't want you to have to wait through that. But because it was quite large, it, it did take a few minutes. Uh, so be prepared to wait. It will tell you when it's attached once it's done. So, after you've completed your two, your subject, and given us a message, simply send it on its way. Okay, I hope this video has helped you know how to organize your photos and get those off to us. We're looking forward to working with you.